government knows the world's preeminent climate scientist, James Hansen, is lying to you through their teeth. Obama, in his speeches, regularly talks about his green credentials. In fact, knows the author of an upcoming keynote book called To Save the Planet, Turn the World Upside Down. Obama's pursuing policies to squeeze every last drop of fossil fuel, including tar sands, coal and mountain top removal by, quote, whatever means necessary and regardless of environmental damage. Huge tax breaks he gave fracking companies are a key reason the highly complicated procedure is financially viable. Green initiatives touted by government that make us feel good about ourselves, notes truth out, are either useless or even more catastrophic than what they replace. While fracking giants assure us natural gas is a clean, safe alternative energy, numerous studies from NASA and Stanford University found vast methane emissions from wells make fracking actually, quote, the worst possible fuel for global warming. Greetings citizens of the world. Funding has just been secured to break ground on the world's largest ocean current-driven power plant, on the shores of Scotland. The plant is expected to supply the electrical needs, of 175,000 homes once completed, with the initial delivery of electricity, expected by 2016. The project will be built in the Pentland Firth in Scotland. The first phase of the project, will include 61 tidal turbines, which will supply Scotland, with enough power for 42,000 families. Eventually, there could be as many as 269 water turbines installed on the array, creating 398 megawatts of electricity. $83 million has been raised to start the first phase of the power plant. Scotland has a goal, of being completely off of fossil fuels, by 2020, and this project puts them on the path to meet that ambitious target. Tidal energy works in a very similar manner to wind energy, in fact, the turbines look very similar. According to Mungen, the builder of the plant. Here is a graphic that shows how the project will look when completed. Sea water is 832 times denser than air, and so a 5 knot ocean current, has more kinetic energy than a 220 miles per hour wind. Therefore, ocean currents have a very high energy density, and a smaller device is required, to harness tidal current energy, than to harness wind energy. Tidal current energy, takes the kinetic energy available in currents, and converts it into electricity. As oceans cover over 70% of planet Earth's surface, ocean energy, including wave power, tidal current power, and ocean thermal energy conversion, represents a vast source of energy, estimated at between 2,000 and 4,000 terawatt hours per year, enough energy to continuously light between 2 and 4 billion 11 watt low energy light bulbs. Due to the slower moving blades in water current power turbines, it is less likely that they will cause any harm to sea life, or the surrounding ecosystem. Tidal turbines are much less disruptive to the flow of water, than other types of tidal power, such as barrages, which actually traps and releases rising tide water. We are anonymous.